A couple weeks ago, we told you about a professional wrestler from Minnesota who used a unique move to throw an unruly passenger off light rail. The whole thing was caught on surveillance video, and tonight we're getting our first look. Maury Glover has been watching this story. So, Maury, yeah, you saw this video. It's pretty incredible. Yeah, it's not something you see every day. Sean Devari has worked with WWE and TNA Wrestling. But as you're about to see, his most interesting smackdown happened well outside the ring during a trip from the warehouse district to the airport on light rail. Over the years, Sean Devari has developed a stranglehold on playing Middle Eastern bad guys in the wrestling ring. But surveillance video shows this professional wrestler from Minnesota didn't choke when faced with an opponent in real life. The video begins with Davari sitting in the middle of a light rail car, but he'll soon have a front row seat, the unruly behavior about to go down. Davari says the man with the backpack, Levin Blair, was already drunk and swearing at fellow passengers when Davari got on board. But an already uncomfortable situation gets even worse when this man boards the train at the Metrodome and asks Blair to move so he can put his bicycle in the bike rack. Devari says Blair starts hurling racial slurs at the man, so the passenger hits the emergency call button to get police. But Blair is less than thrilled when another passenger tells him to sit down and be quiet. And that's when he got in that passenger's face with the, I'll kill you, I'm going to kill you, and stuff like that. Devari has had enough and uses a rear naked chokehold to bring Blair to the floor. For the next minute or so, Davari puts Blair in a scissor hold, causing him to not only lose consciousness, but also control of his bladder. At the next stop, Davari and another passenger throw Blair off the train. That was the hardest part because he's a big fat guy. He's like 280 pounds. I had to just like lug him out the door. He was like throwing out a dead ox. While another passenger throws in his coat and baseball cap, while Blair sits on the platform dazed and confused. I get the feeling that this is going to be a once in a career type of incident. While this situation ended harmlessly, Metro Transit admits not every passenger is a professional wrestler. But spokesman John Seekland says the other people on the train did what they're supposed to do in order to defend themselves. Use the call box, call 911, find a different place on the train to get away from anything that might be happening. Now, even though no officers showed up during the incident, uh, Seekland says police were notified the second that passenger hit the emergency call button. It took officers nine minutes to get to the Cedar Riverside platform, but Seekland says they were in touch with the train operator and monitoring the situation with platform cameras the entire time. And so it, le it begs the question, where, what happened to Mr. Blair? Well, uh, police did catch up to him at the uh, Lake Street station, but at first they thought he was the victim in this. They didn't know he was the aggressor. Uh, he didn't want to have anything to do with them, so they actually let him go. Then they caught up with the passengers out at the Mall of America, and none of them wanted to press charges. So uh, mm -hmm. I guess uh, <laughs> he gets away with this, but it gets a little embarrassing to have all this mm, on TV. Yeah, hoping he gives some help. All right, Maury, <laughs> thanks.